Yeah, we're at the track covering the sport of kings. Coming up in a packed presentation this week, the 50th running of the Guinness races kicking off Jamaica's classic season. Run, Julie, run with champion jockey Ryan Lewis aboard, the star of the 1,000 Guinness for Phillies. And in the 2,000 Guinness for Colson Geldings, Robert Hallatine pilots the undefeated California crown to victory in a 1-2-3 sweep for champion trainer Jason LaCosta. No stopping the favorite Uncle Raj at Santa Rosa Park as Trinidad and Tobago's Triple Crown Series also gets cracking. A colony leading fifth stakes win at Canada's Woodbine for Barbadian riding ace Patrick Husbands. An exciting English Oaks and Derby action from Epsom Downs shown live on Sportsmax. Plus the usual check-in on Caribbean victories in North America. Our opening story from Jamaica. Where before the Guinness excitement, a touch of class from the two-time horse of the year Atomica in Saturday's Eros Trophy, honoring the brilliant 1994 horse of the year and Hall of Famer. Also note SVREL's presentation of the new tracking system, lower screen graphics illustrating the position and movement of each horse, Ex-champion jockey Omar Walker here, rousing the five-year-old mayor Atomica to quicken away from the front-running Mama Mia coming off the final bend. Watched in the com box by Bran Rickman. They're approaching the final 5.16th, they're almost there, and Atomica and Omar Walker have now taken charge. They're at the top of the lane. It's Atomica out in front with a quarter of a mile to run, being chased by Mamma Mia. Is that a fact now? Asked to get going on the outside, Atomica with the lead. Is that a fact? Chasing best of the rest, Mamma Mia had to be switched, but they drive to the furlong pole. It is Atomica out in front. Is that a fact? Needs to find two lengths, and Atomica continues to hold the lead. Omar Walker pumping hard as Atomica holds the advantage. Here is that a fact now closing on the outside, but the Eros Trophy goes to Atomica. Shouldering the top weight of 126 pounds, the Oak Ridge Farms Atomica efficient here for her third win in four starts this year and 16th victory in 22 lifetime starts for trainer Gary Sabrati, clocking 1 minute 25.42 seconds as a 1-5 to five favorite in the 7th furlong Eros Trophy. Later Saturday, the season's first classic, the 1,000 Guinness for Phillies, Run Julie Run, drawn in post position 7 with champion jockey Rian Lewis aboard, the big 2-5 to five favorite here. After her smashing Portmore victory last month, the one horse, Fast and Furious Links, and number 3, Come Home to Me, both at 9-2 to two odds. Hotline stakes on Thornbird stakes winner Banadura, the pace setter down the back stretch, with Lewis, patient, and stalking in second with Run Julie Run. And out in front remains a Banadura striding out powerfully. Run, Julie, run now right in the slipstream. Midnight Flight is next, about five off that lead. Fast and Furious Links and Crypto Girl come next as they leave the three. Buttercup has a mountain to climb along with Come Home to Me and the rest. Shani Star in behind. Blue Sensation asked to pick up on the rail. Then comes Battle Angel. And at the back of the field, it's Amma as they come thundering into the top of the lane in the 50th running of the 1,000 Guineas. And Run, Julie, run now pulls alongside. Banadura and now run Julie run as expected begins to kick away from them come home to be is traveling down against the rail Banadura has cried enough it's a run Julie run she's racing away from them if a traffic cop was here this afternoon surely run Julie run would pick up a speeding ticket and it's run Julie run that will capture the 1000 guineas by five legs all alone at the finish run Julie run completes back-to-back -back wins and gives a fifth classic win to the 24 year old jockey Lewis, while he collected a second 1,000 Guinness victory for trainer Ian Passard in four years. They teamed up, you may remember, with She's a Wonder in 2021. The win seemed less but a release of some anxiety for an owner's group, which has had some classic disappointments in the past. You know how racing is and there's no uncertainty. So I'm quite relieved more than anything else that she was able to do the job today. I know the number 12 horse would be on the lead, so I didn't want to get in any speed duel. So I had to just sit a little bit and the last half mile, I asked her to increase and she gave me everything. Karen Prasad and Henry Pratt's run Julie run by four and three quarter lengths as a two to five favorite chased by the 92 bet come home to me clocking 142.32 in this one mile Phyllis Guinness win also for groomed Kenneth Capel. By successful native out of the left banker mayor runaway Julie run Julie run is a young sister of the 2016 champion two year old and 2017 derby runner up Sotomayor and with the 10 furlongs in leisure to come in July and the derby were 12 furlongs in August, trainer Passad appears encouraged to tackle the Colts and Geldings in a triple crown bid. Well, for now, I think she deserves a chance. Um, going long, she has a breeding. Um, she certainly shows a propensity to finish her races. 
Um, when you go back to the two-year-old stakes, it's only one colt that finished in front of her. So I think she has all of the raw material. Hopefully we can continue to keep her sound, and if she's happy enough, we'll take a crack at the St. Ledger, and then, you know, who, who's to tell? We take it from there, one step at a time always. Well, 24 hours after the Phillies Guinness, the Colts tackled the 2,000 Guinness trip. The impressive Kingston winner, interesting times ahead on a four-race winning streak, a heavy one-to-five favorite in the sixth box. The betters felt number three, Jay Spieth at five to one, number eight, Crown Chaser at nine to two, and the undefeated three to one bet in post position nine, California Crown, were the biggest threats to the favorite. And mid race champion trainer Jason Lacosta's California Crown was on a comfortable lead over his stablemate and favorite in the hands of jockey Robert Halladine. California Crown out on that lead. Interesting times ahead, throttle back in second, a length and a half. Crown Chaser is right on the outside as they go flashing up now inside the final half mile and run the turn for home. King's Crown making ground with J. Spieth. Allegiance is there. Play fair toward the outside of horses. Asked to make some ground, that's Provident and King Pie now left out of it as we had a quarter mile in 24-1 and a half mile in 47-2 as they blaze past the half mile and come toward the top of the stretch. It is California Crown stretching that lead. Interesting times ahead now. Asked to go get him. As they're into the lane, it is California Crown and Robert Halladine. Interesting times ahead now, trying to reel the leader in, but California Crown is moving quickly as they head toward the final furlong. Interesting times ahead now, beginning to nibble at that lead. California Crown out in front by two lengths. Interesting times ahead, trying to catch him. California Crown attempting to go all the way. This is the 50th running of the 2000 Guinness, Robert Halladine and California Crown crowd upset the favorite gate to wire Halladine with a stylish win as California crown who did not race as a two-year-old convincingly fends off a favorite interest in times ahead and Provident in a one two three finish for trainer da Costa a rare feat this sweeping a classic the last time this was achieved was in 2019 when trainer Anthony Nunes completely dominated the St. Leisure with Supreme Soul securing the triple crown Tuna Ciliata second and Princess Ava third Nunes also had fourth there to boot with Earn Your Stripes. But a really proud moment this for Da Costa in only his third full season at Caymanus Park since taking over his late dad Wayne Da Costa's barn in 2021. Two championship titles and now five classic triumphs for Jason. No current rider at Caymanus Park has as many 2,000 Guinness wins as Halladeen, four now for the 35-year-old, adding to scores he had with Alibaba, Future King and Wow Wow. California Crown, not the top choice going in, but those close to the preparation knew he had a great shot. Yeah, definitely. I schooled him. I know everything about him. I know how the race was going to run. The plan with me and the trainer was bouncing front. The pace he has, but I believe the half mile, everybody will be in trouble. So yeah. the game plan worked out very well. California Crown is improving. You know, he's a young three-year-old, um, lightly raced. And he's improving with every start, with every work. So I expected a big run from him today. None two that he won in 128 one showed that he was improved at the right time. And he came back and do 107 by 101, which was an excellent time for this race. He's running style, the jockey kind of ride, and we, he will, I know he will run in front. So we expect him to do very well in this race. California Crown by Hedge Fund out to the Wizard of Gold Mayor Dream Big wins the 2000 Guinness by a length and three quarters over the favorite interest in times ahead and Provident. Halladine aboard his sixth classic success here. The winning groom, Barrington Samuels. California Crown clocked 142.67 for eight furlongs, a chunk slower than Run Julie Run went in the Phillies Guinness. Now to Trinidad and Tobago, where their classic season also kicked off with a nine furlong Guinness at Santa Rosa Park. Only five starters in Friday's TT Guinness with a one-horse Uncle Raj, the one to two favorite for champion trainer John O'Brien. Number three, Red Alert, a seven to five second favorite with number two, Unbelievable at six to one and Secret Pages at seven to one. John Rupert picks up the race call with a favorite on the rail beginning to take control. With 400 meters to go, they come to the top of the stretch and Dylan is asking Uncle Raj for his effort now as Red Alert is in second spot. Running on in that third spot there is Secret Pages. Unbelievable has given way. Capital T is the trailer. 200 meters to go, and Uncle Raj has the rail and is pulling away. Racing in second spot is Red Alert, then comes Secret Pages, who is running on. But inside the final, Uncle Raj being eased up, and he's going to win the grade one guineas. 
Jockey Dylan Kellowan nails his first ever Guinness win. Trainer O'Brien takes three in a row and four in the last five Guinness races. PT Racing's Uncle Rog by a charismatic cat out of the gold market mare Blind Date opens the Triple Crown Series with a good win here for groom Kurt Sukram. By five and three quarter lengths, Uncle Rog justifies his one to two favoritism. The winning time for the ninth furlong Guinness, 201.06 seconds. And if he's eyeing the Triple Crown, the Midsummer Classic on the 1st of August and the September 24 Derby are his next targets. That Patrick Husband story now with the Barbadian turned 51 years old a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> he's not slowing down. Just over five weeks into the new Woodbine season in Canada and already with five stakes wins. In Saturday's Royal North Stakes on Turf, he was aboard the favourite Play the Music, a competitive home stretch battle brewing here until Husbands in purple and white silks explodes with a winning rail run. Up the inside, Play the Music is coming to join Miss Speedy and down the outside, Star Candy and Secret Money. The Marcassi trio are right there, but it's on the rail. Play the Music tearing away. What a big win in the Royal North by almost three to secret money. No rider has more stakes wins so far this season in Canadian racing than the five that Patrick Husbands has. Making it look easy, champion trainer Mark Cassis play the music lands a Royal North Stakes for a career stakes win number 371 in the USA and Canada for the seven-time Woodbine champion jockey Husbands. Two and a quarter lengths the victory margin and the winning time won 14.85 for six and a half furlongs. An exciting continuation of the English Classic season this past weekend with the Oaks and Derby races live from Epsom Downs on Sportsmax. In Friday's 1000 Guinness for Phillies, the 11 to 8 favourite, Ilang Ilang, out of the picture. The closing stages a riveting battle between two world famous owners' outfits, the Agricans Ezelia, ridden by jockey Chris Hayes, pulling clear of Godolphin's Dan Sequence and gets a fine Oaks win for trainer Dermot Weld as a 3 to 2 second favourite. No stopping the favourite city of Troy in Saturday's £1.55 million Epsom Derby. The Colt Voyager lost his rider early and jockey Ryan Moore just had to steer the son of 2018 US Triple Crown winner Justify safely to the win. City of Troy rebounding from his disappointment in the 2000 Guineas for a solid two and three quarter length score here. Jockey Moore's fourth Derby triumph and trainer Aidan O'Brien's tenth. Our usual weekly tally of wins for Caribbean racing men in the USA and Canada. Before we go, in the past week, since our last show, I've counted a whopping 72 victories. Among them, the Barbadian trainer Safi Joseph Jr. with eight, including back-to-back -back triples Thursday and Friday. Six wins at Thistledown for the Barbadian jockey Rocco Boyen, including a Wednesday triple. The Jamaican jockey Dane Nelson achieving 400 wins in Canadian racing while scoring four wins this past weekend, including a stakes victory at Centre Mile, where he is the defending champion. And at Assiniboia Downs, the Barbadian jockeys Antonio Whitehall and Ronaldo Cumberbatch had stakes victories, while Caribbean jocks won more than 20 races at that Winnipeg racetrack. Whitehall, the defending champion there, responsible for five of them. We've been at the track covering top stories and exciting races in the sport of kings. Check us out again next week.